Hello friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel where we'll give you updates on what is happening in Nigeria, Africa and across the world. Alright, um, of course, you know, tomorrow is the Nigerian election and someone else have declared it at home at, uh, in the Biafra land, but um, there's this threat going on in Lagos. Okay guys, if I give you an update on what I have today, um, the message from someone Ekpa to Sunday Igboho, a message from Aloye Jamako and every other news we have for you in the world of Biafra. Guys, um, before I give you that update, please click on the subscribe button, hit on the notification bell, drop your comment on the comment section and also share to other social media platforms. Simon Ekba has told um, Biafran that he has a talk with um, Sunday Igbo regarding the threat uh, made by one of Tinubu loyalists, the person of SC Oluomo. Okay guys, um, according to Sahara reporter, Tinubu's loyalist MC Oluomo threatens Igbo people in Lagos, tells them to stay home if they won't vote for Governor Sanwolu or the APC candidate. That is what MC Oluomo said. And of course, you know, um, there was a trendy video of MC Oluomo when he was talking and telling people that if they are not ready to vote for Tinubu, they should go home. And of course, in a country where there is, where we practice proper democracy, you don't have the right to tell people that. You don't have the right to create that kind of violence. To tell people that if you don't want to vote for a particular candidate, don't come out and vote. I think um, the police should have done something on that. However, Simon Ekba has said that he had a call with Sunday Igbo. Of course, you know Sunday Igbo, the Yoruba uh, separatist um, leader, um, the person pioneering Oduduwa's republic. According to him, he said the threat against Indigo in Lagos may no longer be tolerated. We have not threatened any ethnic group in Biafra land except terrorists. I have just finished speaking with Chief Sunday Igbo on the phone about the attack against Indigo on, in Lagos, which he condemned in strongest terms. Those who think we don't care about our people in Lagos because of our political differences and opinions are making a big mistake. Enough of this threat against Indigo. You may face strong resistance going forward until the day we will exit Nigeria. Olomo, if by tomorrow you carry out the threat against Igbo people in Lagos, then wait for us. I will address this in the evening broadcast. That is what... Um, son, um, Simon Ekba said as a reply to MC Olomo. All right, guys, we are waiting. Tomorrow is election day. Uh, Simon Ekba have said, I've not told the Igbos not to go and vote in Lagos, but however, we are waiting for other updates um, on that regarding the threat by MC Olomo, according to Simon Ekba. The truth is that I don't really know why all these threats are upon the Igbo. The Igbo are not the only one voting. In fact, among the Yoruba, there are people that even voted against Tinubu. So you don't tell me that it's all the Yoruba that voted for Tinubu and all the Igbo voted for Obi. So I don't see the reason why all this much attack are on the Igbo people. Well, now the kind of lead lawyer, the person of Barrister, Aloy Ejimako said, before you lay your filthy hands on any Igbo in Lagos, for taking over Lagos, just know that the Lebanese own virtually all the upscales, Itris in um, Ikeja, and Greater Victoria Island and Dangote, India and Chinese own much of the properties in Banana Island and Lekki Free Trade Zone. So why focusing on the Igbo? Well. That is coming from Aloy Ejimako. But before I round up what I have today, um, Aloy Ejimako has written to a, 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 a story that it is false that IPOB is now ranked the 10th deadliest terrorist group in the world by the Global Terrorist Index. IPOB was only mentioned as having been declared a terrorist group in Nigeria. IPOB is registered. IPOB terrorist groups can't be registered. If you try, you will be arrested. That is a lawyer, Jamako. So, regard any news that IPOB is a terrorist group. IPOB is a registered group. So, if you try to register a terrorist group, you will be arrested. That is what a lawyer, Jamako said. According to a lawyer, Jamako, he said the focus on court order 
for free Mazat Namdekanu is only because the British is as yet reluctant to assert a diplomatic plot against Nigeria like it did in the case of the attempted redemption of Umaru Diku in 1984. What happened to the greatness in Great Britain? Of course, what happened to the greatness in Great Britain? I believe the IPOB, um, the um, Mazen the Kanu, the leaders of the indigenous people of Biafra should have been free by now. But I don't really know what is happening after even the court has ruled and ruled again. And until the third time when they changed different, two different judges, um, um, different set of judges rather, and we are still hoping that the federal government will do the needful by releasing Mazi Namde Kano. The case is still on, and we know that um, no matter the delay, justice must always be for a freedom fighter. Mazi Namde Kano has never been and will not be a terrorist, according to the IPOB and the lawyer. And of course, you know that Mazi Namde Kano is, um, was a redemption back from Kenya and he never compromise to any threat from anyone guys okay that is um what we want to take from a lawyer in jimako all right we want to round up with this um this is coming from simon ekba uh, according to him he showed a picture of Cantona lang um blocking him from viewing his tweets okay guys i will be giving you update on that and that is where we're going to be rounding up today's message or today's letter latest update on the world of biafra and of course, you know, there's been a lot of heat, um, most especially if you're on Twitter. Um, of course, you know, following Simon Ekba, he will always drag you on Twitter, according to um, Simon Ekba, that um, um, Katron Katra, Katra Lang blocked him from Twitter because he, she, he is always giving her um, the very much heat she needed. He said on his verified Twitter undo, he said, look at the woman. The ex de facto president of Nigeria blocked me. She couldn't take the heat anymore. We have defeated her in Nigeria and now she is running away. That is what Simon Ekba said, that he has defeated um, her in Nigeria and she is running away. All right, guys, so we are running up with this. Um, don't forget that Simon Ekba have declared today and Saturday, Sunday and Monday meet, um, sit at home day in Biafra land so let's see if it will hold if the people will comply with it guys don't forget that tomorrow is also the governorship election in all in every part of Nigeria so let's see if the election will hold in in Biafra land so guys thanks for listening and god bless you goodbye